the intense war continues, and friends and foe alike withdraw from the field. Wounded in battle, the majority of the forces of Leonis retreat to Ovis Castle. Yet despite the odds, Mont continues to the front line in order to stop Sodaly. There, he stands alongside Jaden to finally face Sodaly. But the power Sodaly commands is overwhelming. In their hour of need, Oberon joins the battle with an ancient ring in hand. However, upon seeing the aftermath of Gilgamesh's assault on Rondal Castle, Oberon turns his spear on Jaden. This is the work of the Realm Scourge. I'm afraid it is. Do not worry. I shall stop this foul monstrosity. And I will find a way to spirit us back to our original world. Whatever that may take. <sighs> what is it, Amnelis? It is only fragmentary, but I had a premonition of a new future. A new future? Yes. It is not the one you and I know. It is a world where the Realm Scourge has survived and transformed. Where not just Ardra, but Palladia, our home, had also been overwhelmed and on the brink of total annihilation. Could have changed the future. I do not know. Perhaps it was mere chance. Perhaps it was inevitable. Even that, I am not sure of. I have the armor you built for me. Did you not create it as a contingency in order to destroy that threat, if ever the need arose? That I did, but... Then there is not to be afraid of. I will prove to you that the premonition you had was no prophecy, but merely a bad dream. You need not face the Realm Scourge alone. While the premonition I had did indeed show despair, it also revealed hope. In what way? I was also able to glimpse the existence of a bearer of light. A bearer of light? With that individual's help, a miracle might just happen. Where is this light bearer? That I don't know. All I do know is that we will surely cross paths with them eventually. Our draw might be destroyed if we stand around waiting for that to happen. I must go and face the monstrosity for the sake of our future. Gilgamesh. Sarah has finally faded from view. I wonder how Exia fares. When I told her my determination to set forth alone on this missionary journey, she left, disappearing into the rain. Ah, yes. It was also in the rain of the night from whence Exia suddenly appeared before me, nigh on two years ago. Is something the matter? Do you need to ask? Look.
Look for yourself! The sea grows wilder by the minute! You fault me for the weather? If ye hadn't come seeking passage to Ardra, we would never have come to be in this circumstance. You have the wrong of it. It was not I, but the Supreme Pontiff who decided this mission. If you ignore his holiest orders and turn this vessel around, the Church of the Crystal will not be forgiving. Surely you should know that much in the least. Ah, we have a ways of avoiding such a fate. And what, pray tell, would that be? The youth, upon receiving his long-awaited missionary orders, burned with such keenness that he stood on the bow of our ship, eyes fixed on the horizon. The ship's crew tried to stop him, but he paid no heed, telling us that he wanted to be the first to set eye upon the land of Ardra. As fate would have it, the ship encountered a tempest. The poor youth was swept away by the fierce waves and was never seen again. What do ye think? Quite the tragic tale, eh? The, the youth you speak of is... Surely, you cannot intend to throw me into the sea and return to Tessera. Well, such accidents are pretty common on the high seas. Aye, and no one would be the least bit suspicious. Don't take it personally. We're just not ready to die on account of ye. If that is how it must be... I shan't hold back! Ha! The landlubber intends to make things interesting! Let's see just how much faith you have in your own abilities! Gracias! We were going easy on you, priest! So don't get on it! Avast this nonsense at once! Ye scurvy fools! What are ye all playing at? Come, sir! At this rate, the ship will surely run right into a storm! Aye, none of us should have to perish on account of this one. Captain! Priest, the rain be getting heavier. We should seek shelter below deck. As you wish, Captain. Um, there's some truth in what the crew speaks. If we press on to Ardra in this manner, many a life may be lost. Violent waters lie awake between the lands of Tessera and Ardra. That is the very reason why people say that it is nigh impossible to reach Ardra safely. However, if we were to turn back, perhaps the Supreme Pontiff wishes for me to do just that. There are many in the priesthood who see my rising in rank as loathsome. I imagine they fear that I shall one day surpass them. Little do they realize, I was merely following Exia's counsel in my works. Dispatching me on a missionary journey was perhaps the best way of removing me. All the more so to make the destination of my mission the land of Ardra. Many a missionary has been dispatched there, but it appears none have survived the journey across this wild sea. The priesthood would only need a little push to believe I could be the one to sow the seeds of faith in Ardra. It was Nelsus, after all, who competed with me the most to become a prelate. 
proposing this scenario to the Supreme Pontiff would not be strange for such a man. You suspected as much, and yet you still set off without me? That voice! It couldn't be! Exia! <laughs> you look surprised! I feared you had lost all affection for me and had absconded somewhere. Do you think I would ever do such a thing? Oh, Exia. Enough of that now! Regardless of the circumstances, stowing away is a serious crime. Even a humble priest should know that much. <sighs> Ahoy! We've trouble cutting! What is it? There be monsters, sir! <sighs> Ye two landlubbers remain here! Let's assist them! Do not speak such nonsense! The captain ordered us to remain here! Oh, so you intend to just do everything that man tells you? Well, I... The crew harbors animosity unto us, but even so, I believe this is a time we should work together. That we may all survive. I guess you are correct. Let us go help. Tempers! Ha! You do well for a priest in a maiden fair. It's never a dull day on the high seas. We merely fight out of sheer desperation. We need this ship intact, that we may complete the crossing to Ardra. I'm sorry, lad. You can no longer comply with your request. Why must you deny us? Exia and I shall do what we can to assist you. We shall cause no bother unto any of you. It's out of my hands, lad. You mean your crew refuses to proceed? They might seem a bunch of rapscallions or scurvy fools to you. And that they may be, but so long as they're on my ship, those swabs be my family. Returning them home safe and sound is my highest priority. Then... You intend to throw us overboard? I am not as heartless to make shark bait out of you. Then... I've got a longboat for you to use. You cannot be serious! Casting us adrift in a tiny boat in such raging waters? You have my sympathies, lad. But it has already been decided. <sighs> It shall suffice. What do you mean, Exia? It is practically suicide. I had a premonition. You saw her future? I did. But how does that help? It was only fleeting, but it was clear. An image of you, standing proudly in a grand cathedral. You believe that cathedral to be of my creation? Does it beggar belief? <clears throat> no, it does not. I have made it this far because of you, Exia. So, I believe, with not a shadow of a doubt. We shan't be defeated by monsters like these. We shall open the portal to that future, together. That we shall. The boat is ready and waiting. Time for you to board it. We cannot do that. The monsters are too many. Leaving you to fend them off would not be right. Sink me. Does your altruism know no bounds? 
Why does that surprise you? I was bribed by that Bildrad Nelsus. Nelsus? He was the priest who competed with you for the position of prelate, was he not? Indeed. And what did Nelsus ask of you, Captain? He told me to kill you, and make it look as though it was an accident. Such wickedness! He may have already worked it out, but it was Nelsus who wished he sent away to Ardra. I suppose that confirms my fears. Were it not for ye, the Prelate's position would be all that is, you see. Then why do you not kill us? Maybe I've become altruistic as well. <sighs> you have a certain charm about you now. With that quality, your missionary work should truly go well for you. Oh! Once we swab the decks of this wave of monsters, smartly board the ship's boat. Don't you worry about us. Men of the sea are a hardy breed. The likes of these creatures won't be our end. Understood, Captain. A heroic and virtuous priest, accompanied by a fair but courageous missionary. That blessed duo were miraculously able to cross the raging seas and set foot on the land of Ardra. Upon my return to Tessera, I shall spread this glad tiding hither and thither. Aye, and it shall matter not what that Dildrat Nelsus says either. There's no sign of any more monsters. It's because of this Tempest. Not even they have it in them to attack us now. You speak as one without hope. Do you not have faith in my premonition? Oh, that I could keep faith. Were it not for this fearful storm. You are not ready to face death? Or is it that you don't wish to do so together? Huh? Nelsus knew about me. Then that means... His pretext of sending me alone on this missionary assignment... ...was with the aim of making me his own. He schemed to use my power of prophecy in order to secure his standing within the Church. No deed is beneath that man. That was why I stowed away on the ship. I thought, if I were to die... I would rather it was with you. I am dearly sorry. For I fear I do not have the capability to save you. Oh, but you do. You are the bearer of light. The one that guided me this far. And the one that shall continue to guide me from here on after. Such a beautiful crystal. The Supreme Pontiff bestowed it upon me in place of a parting gift. The crystal's light grows brighter. Oh, crystal! Please, show us the way! Begin our missionary work at last. And we must build a church greater than any in Tessera. Huh? <laughs> uh. 
Eventually, I guess we shall. The nearest settlement is this way, I believe. Did you have another premonition? No, I just spotted footprints heading yonder. But first... It seems we must deal with a greeting party. And so our mission begins. You do look as though you need a hand. Who are you? The name's Quill. Fear not. I'm by your side now. Come on, foul beasts! Come and get it! <laughs> you two are stronger than you look. It looks like you weren't needing me aid in the end. Nay, we appreciate your assistance regardless. I am Sodaly, and this here is... Exia, thank you for coming to us. Haven't seen you in these parts before. You travelers from afar? Yes, we hail from Tessera. Tessera? Now that's a surprise. How'd you ever make it across those fierce seas? It was rough going indeed, but fortune saw fit that we would make it. We seek the nearest village. Perhaps you could show us the way? Why do you wish to visit me village? We have come to Ardra to spread the teachings of our Church of the Crystal. Ah, preachers, huh? Is something the matter? I'm afraid the villagers believe in no gods. Moreover, they're highly suspicious of strangers on the whole. And that doesn't deter us. So please, simply give us directions. This is the very reason we journeyed all the way to these lands. I'll be taking no responsibility for whatever might happen. Very well. Heaven will decide our fates. All right, then. Follow me. This be me village. What are you playing at, Quill? Bringing strangers into our village like this. Do not blame Quill. We all but forced him to lead us here. And who the hell are you then? You have not to fear from us. We are simple missionaries from Tessera, who have come to spread the teachings of the Church of the Crystal. From Tessera, you say? Indeed. <laughs> That's a likely story. I bet one of those rats from the other villages paid you to come here to do no good. Truth! Those dastards would have no qualms using strangers to uncover our village's secrets. We are newly arrived in Ardra. We know not of what you speak. Seize them! You shouldn't have gone easy on us. This is what you get! We shall interrogate the two of you later, and learn exactly what you're up to. Being taken captive was not how I envisioned our mission to proceed. There was little else we could do. 
We could not have fought the villagers with our full might lest we injure or kill them. That's true. However... Exia? What is it? I heard a scream. Fire? We need to get out of here! <laughs> 